See, definitely, but I think that's going to be good for a while. Oh, oh, it's helping the sisters. Eh, I'm not too concerned about that. Not with this playthrough. One thing I have considered, strong emphasis on considered, is to play this like every year around maybe like in October. Have this be the Halloween game that I play. But then every playthrough, do a different clan, do a different play style, all that. We'll see about that. But yeah, I'm not worried about doing every single thing in this one. Uh, the antediluvian for the Zamisk is from city of Enoch in Iraq. Also, wow, 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 wow. Um, let's go to. What are we looking at on quests here? Uh, Surfside Diner. I think that's right over here, isn't it? No, it's not. Well, let's just go over this this way. Hey, Thamo! Wow, thanks for the five thousand bits. Happy holidays! I've enjoyed your YouTube playthroughs very much. Have a nice night. Oh, thank you, Thamo. Thamo, I don't. I think you said you don't pronounce the the uh, H. I very much appreciate it. I very much appreciate that. Very nice. Happy holidays to you as well. Very, very generous of you. Hopefully you can stay around the stream for a bit. Uh, but I will be putting this on YouTube if not. Alright, so we've checked the clinic. We've checked the... Oh, let's go talk to Trip in the pawn shop. That's a sweet Christmas tree. I think everybody also gets those holiday emotes too. I think. Tally? Tally will know that one. Oh, uh, hey. Yeah? Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... Uh, what's your name? You call me Trip. I own this shop. <laughs> they call you Trip. Are you doing drugs? Um, no. Not, not really. Sorry. Uh, not really. There's a clinic across the road. Should I get you something for a discount? Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? Uh, yes. What's, or uh, yes, I am. Is it that obvious? It's not a big surprise. We get new faces through here night after night. Used to be more tourists, but now, I don't know, man. It's more like drifters. Uh, do new people scare you with a serial killer running around? Yeah, it's freaking me out, to be honest. I'm open all night in Santa Monica. Please don't rank amongst the nation's most worthy. Yeah, Vlodrill, I've gotten a bit more used to reading chat, but with an RPG, it's a bit easier because I feel like there's more of a, uh, a cadence, if you will, I guess, to how the gameplay works. It's not like I'm constantly, like with a platformer, I'm constantly moving and you know progressing. With RPG, it's kind of back and forth, so it's a little bit easier for me to, to do that. Uh, are these... Blah, blah, blah. Are these killings happening around here? Oh, I don't know. I heard earlier someone at the pier got ripped up like that poor bastard in Long Beach the other day. No way. I'll tell you, crazy stuff happens all the time, and it's like we just get used to it. You know, just going our way, do do do. But this, I don't know. These killings are chilling. Yeah, cadence is a fancy word. I, I try to keep... Uh... Keep things highbrow, intellectual around here. Uh, indeed, you should be careful. So, did you need anything in particular, or? No, that's one of the talk. What do you have to sell? All right, here's what we got today. A gold ring, awesome. All right, so let's sell some of the stuff we found. Uh, the computer book, I'll sell this just because we would learn nothing from it. We'll sell... Oh, we have more morphine. I don't think there's any other use for the morphine. So we'll go ahead and sell that. We can't sell the astrolite. That would be a bummer. Sell the watch. The pill bottles. Oh, we need research skill. I do want to get my research skill at some up at some point. Um, We'll sell one of these.
Lethality. Lethality. I think I've got the melee. Yeah, actually, I probably don't have the strength for this that well. So we'll keep with the crowbar. Also, beating people to death with a crowbar makes me happier. Also, I think we have a higher chance of find, finding bats that we can come back and do later. All right, one other thing I want to check back. with him. What you need? Do you sell weapons? Uh, no, not not really. Sorry. You will sell your weapons to me. Well, okay. Hey, it's cool. I'm overstocked anyhow. Take a look and feel free to come back anytime. All right, good night, Vlodril, and uh, thanks for coming by. Good night. And again, I will be putting this on stream or on YouTube. Uh, I pr There's a pretty good chance that I will stream this on Friday. Uh, tomorrow's our normal stream, so it's going to be Ori in the Blind Forest. But Friday, I'll probably try to stream this as well, at least part of the day. Uh, let's see what you got. We got a sweet car stereo. Uh, we can buy a bat. Oh, that's what we sold him. A knife. Get some ammo. Eh. Nothing too great. Not going to need too many weapons. I am probably going to go more firearms with this guy. I never really went a firearm route. I usually go melee in this game for whatever reason. I don't know why. The melee combat is, is pretty bad. It's uh, very bare bones to say the least. All right, so let's take this dark alley. The asylum. Whoa, hey. Hmm. Mysterious. Oh, there's that diner. Let's go to this diner and see what's going on. Can we open these dumpsters? Do a little dumpster diving? No. I guess not. I love the way people walk in this game, too. Like, just that, like, very strong stagger. Like, yeah, I know what's up. I know I'm hot shit. Alright, let's go check on the diner and see if we can find out more about this uh, Emily or M and this Thin Blood thing. Sup, wise a freak? Sorry, I missed your question. How long do you plan on playing? Uh, tonight, I'm going to stream till at least 9 o'clock. There's a pretty decent chance I'll stream later. I might take a break at some point just to get some, uh, like, food or whatever. But um, at the very least, I want to stream until 9. What'll it be? Uh, so you ever see any pale kind of strange types in here late at night? Is that a trick question? Uh, you see a couple in here a few months ago. Surfer guy and a pretty girl. Mm, let me think. Oh, yeah. About four dozen a week. I'm the first person to say your name right, wise a freak. Well, I probably will only do it one time ever. And I'll forget how I said it. Uh, you see any girls hanging out here? Pale girls. Pale girls. Oh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. Uh, have you heard the term thin blood? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Try to remember. When did you hear it? Mm. I know I've heard that before. Maybe a kind of strange pretty girl said something about it recently. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Thanks a lot. I'll be sure to do that. See, I'm playing a nice person. It's difficult to do, but I'm doing it. Not as hard as the time that I played a lawful good paladin of law. That was a pain in the ass. That destroyed me on every level. 
Anything around here that I can still I mean, borrow? I'm a nice person. I'm eating. Out of my way. Motherfucking son of a- Nope. Relax. Don't do it. Teenage suicide. I like that. I like his attitude. Sepsy. I like his attitude. Not my problem. I didn't even say anything to him. I just walked up to him. He's like, not my problem. Another fucking run just, in my pants. Back off. How you doing? Something I can help you with. What? Life would be much easier if you could, friend. I guess. Uh, you seem preoccupied. Are you okay? I don't see how that's any business of yours. Sorry, didn't mean to intrude. Goodbye, then. Well. Um, let's see. I want to look at the picture. There she is. Photo of a young woman. Barely visible message in the back of the photo reads August... The third, Santa Monica Lily. That's not on the back. Bullshit. Now, this is the receipt for a bail bond. The bail bond was for one Rolf Toten. Did I get that from... Wait, I didn't get that from her, did I? When did I get that bail bond? A purse left behind at the diner. This isn't like Resident Evil where you can like flip it around and get info. Oh, there's our key ring. All right, so what was the quest update on that? Trip wants drugs. The clinic will surely have a medical safe full of the stuff. Oh, okay. I didn't think he actually gave you a quest. Uh, thin blood. You received Illy's belonging from the dimer. They consist of a photo, a key, and a bail bond. Hmm. A bail bond. Let's go, uh... If only there was a place to go to find out about bail bonds. Oh, I played, uh, when did I play a Lawful Paladin? Hey that was there. Dungeons and Dragons. Sup, how you doing? Uh, it was in a game of Dungeons and Dragons. It was not actually a, a video game. Sadly, we big enough nerds to play it in real life. You seem nice. We are living in the last days of the last age of mankind. Repent. I hope so. He's got one crazy eye. Well, two, one crazy eye and a crazy brain. Yeah, lawful good in this game would be pretty difficult. There's Deb at night. I'll let you guys listen to her. I'm going to be trying to get a stopping point so I can get a drink. Let me go grab a drink. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Aren't I the popular one? Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Who will be the lucky caller? You've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is, uh, Vigo. Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you up so late? Um, I'm working a late shift here at the Yacht Club. Uh-huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Uh, one is uh, in the shop. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Um, you probably wouldn't know the brand. I, uh, bought them in Italy. Ah, la Italia bella. Parlate italiano? Um, yes. Arrivederci, Vigo. Caller two, you're on the Deb of Night. Hi, Hello, caller. Hi, Is tonight a rerun? Deb. Caller number three, what's keeping you up tonight? Deb, listen to me, Deb. They're at it again and people have got to know. They've got to know because they don't know. They won't report the stuff on the news because they own the news. Hello, Gomez. What's the latest conspiracy? Conspiracy? This goes beyond conspiracy, okay? There's no word for something as devious and secret as this, you understand? The people need to hear this. They need to know the real story. You've got our undivided attention. All right. As we all know, the Americans established a moon base back in the late all right. 90s. That's no secret. Hey, Farami's now following. See, I just had to turn on Deb of Night and people start following. But uh, thanks for following Farami. Let's talk to uh, this pleasant looking gentleman here. I wonder who this could be. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? 
Uh, I'm new around here. I just had a few questions. Sure, pal. What is it? I'm curious about your business. Bail bonding? What do you want to know? Uh, so, do you get a lot of people who jump bail? Of course. Goes with the business. Then you sick the bounty hunter on the, them. Wait. Who do you sick on them? Would you say the person that you sick on, the people who jump the bails, would be the bounty hunter? Would that be? Would that be? Be who it does? Yeah, I think it is. That's got to be an interesting job. Hey, and why is a freak also is now following? Hopefully he doesn't all follow. He or she doesn't unfollow when I mispronounce their name. Anyway, so I, I kind of got lost track. Oh, we were talking about the bounty hunter. It's got to be an interesting job. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Oh, God, every time he says bounty hunter, it's very difficult. It, I, it automatically plays in my head. I want you to know that. As much as you might hate it, every time I hear the words bounty and hunter together, or separate sometimes, it just plays in my head automatically. Uh, is the bounty hunter you have now any good? Yep. Damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Uh, let's see. Maybe I could find them for you instead. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Of course. Where should I look for him? Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Before I go, could you answer a question? Sure, pal. What is it? Have you heard about the murders in town? Yeah, they're saying there was a murder down by the pier, just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore them up. They're saying it's a serial killer. Scare you at all? Well, typically when things like this happen, the cops ratchet up the patrols and start hauling in more suspicious types. Could be good for me. If you say so, I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. Sure, pal. What is it? Actually, I'm going to go. All right. So this is where we get super investigative. Investigative. Sorry, Kitty's in the front of the keyboard now, so I'm having to type over her. Uh, the bail bond. Rolf Toten. Excuse me. I don't. Oh, wait. The crime computer's back here. Kill Patrick's crime pewter. Search your national database for missing and wanted persons. Find information on your neighbors and co-workers. Uh, Totem was S through Z. Totem R. Bond written 822.03. Uh, immigration case. Bond amount 15,000. Type of bond collateral. Car. Red. Lightning bird. 77. Plate. Guy Connie. Notes. Go back to Germania, pal. We don't take the euro in these parts. Wow. Bonds. See what you got here. Uh, actually, I'm going to wait on that. I don't... He might get pissed if I try to hack his computer. I honestly don't. Nope. Yep. Yep. Easy. Easy. That's not how you hack the computer, genius. Yeah, I don't really... Generally, will typically don't play female characters too much. Uh, I will for... I will do it on RPGs a lot of times. Like open world RPGs. My first character is usually a female named Chloe that is a ranged character and also evil. Um, Muddy. I don't want to know why he's called Muddy. Probably for the best. What is that dinging? Password, hack it again. And you don't get experience or anything for hacking itself. Just FYI. 
uh, your father. Ar uh, Arthur, your father wanted me to write you to tell you that he has a boil that is three inches across. You really need to come visit and see this thing. Love, Mom. I'm glad I read that. That was kind of a, my punishment for reading that. Um, all right. I think there's other times you can check that and uh, get some information. What's shaking? Okay. I just want to make sure that he didn't like, was it like, hey, you hacked my computer. Yeah, it was, uh, oh, and D&D. Yeah. I I still think I post made dudes in D&D, uh, &D, I think. First character was a drow ranger. Yeah, we were total munchkins. Total munchkins. I think a lot of people were when they started playing. Munchkins, if you're not down with the hip kids terms, is uh, basically where you make your characters overpowered. Like just by kind of bending and breaking the rules. Hey, ladies. Looking, uh... Buy a watch. That, are you selling a watch? or That's weird. Alright, let's go... Let's go to the garage. Let's see if we can't find that vehicle. I'm trying to think of which quest I want. I want to stay on the Lily quest for now. Find a red vehicle. Is what the bail bond said. Ah, here it is. Whoa, hey. There we go. A diary. Well, well, well. Let us read the diary. But only for... Oh. Apparently we already did. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, it seems to be a woman's diary. Uh, let's see. That's April, January, January... February, March, April. Yeah, April 30th. I met a guy today at the asylum. He's so beautiful. Oh, my God. His name is Rolf, and he's from Germany. European men are just so classy compared to boring California boys. He asked to see me tomorrow night. I wonder if he's rich. He looks rich. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow and pick up something that won't make me look like a big, fat pig. Can't wait to see him. Uh, May the 21st. I think it's getting serious with Rolf. He told me he wanted to give me something very special next week. And if it's what I think it is, it's about damn time. I thought Europeans were supposed to be less uptight about this sort of thing. Uh, June the 6th. I woke up at 9 p.m. today. That would be strange in itself, or that would be strange in itself, except I don't remember going to sleep last night. In fact, I don't remember anything since last Saturday night when Rolf was over. June the 10th. I woke up late again. I haven't eaten anything in four days. I don't know what's wrong with me. June the 11th. Rolf came over last night. He said the reason I hadn't eaten anything was because I needed blood. He said it was all I could eat now, but I wouldn't feel hungry anymore if I drank some. He had a bag of it from the local blood bank. I tried to refuse, but I couldn't. What happened? What's happening to me? July 26th. Rolf said he's going to have to leave soon. He said people are trying to force him out of the country. He didn't say anything about talking, taking me with him. Uh, August 22nd. I had to bail Rolf out of jail today. He was arrested because his visa expired. He looked frightened. I'm afraid he's going to leave. December the 7th. I haven't seen or hold from Rolf since the night I bailed him out. I don't know what to do. I thought he cared about me. Why did he do this to me? Uh, and uh, April of the next year, I talked with this guy I met in the surf side until 5 this morning. When I told him I had to go, I felt like Cinderella. He seemed like a prince. July 16th. I met the guy from the surf side again. He has no idea what I am. April 24th, I brought E, the guy from the Surfside, back to my apartment last night. He said he's going back to Australia in a few days now that the tournament's coming to an end. I don't want him to leave. I've never felt this way about someone before, not even Rolf. April 25th, E kissed me last night and I couldn't stop myself from biting into his neck. But I drank too much and I gave him my blood to save him. When I explained it all to him, he said he never wanted to see me again. What have I done? May the 8th. I haven't been able to feed since that night with E. I'm afraid of what will happen. I remember Rolf brought back blood from the blood bank. Maybe if I can sneak in, I can get a few bags and get out before anyone catches me. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, Kitty did not go into her bed. She did leave, though. All right, so now let's go back to the blood bank. I'm assuming that's what the quest is telling me. I definitely don't know what's going on. I'm just playing this game for the first time. You've located the Lily Journal. Her last entry mentions a plan of hers to break into the local food bank. Or blood bank. Hey, well, you know, for vampires, it's the same thing. Denying us that sweet, sweet blood sack is like taking bread out of a homeless person's mouth. Would you do that? I sure hope not. Let's go on in here. And let's go downstairs and talk to our buddy who's got the same face as Trip, but is a much bigger douchebag. Oh, wait, is she still in here? No, she's gone. And she took her blood with her. Good thing. It's, it's probably pretty rare that a patient in a hospital actually cleans up after themselves. Especially when the cleanup is blood. Sup, nerd? Need a fix? I need to get into the back room. Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. Uh, queen bitch. Now serving number 75. Number 75. Fine. Goodbye. All right. So we can't open that. Maybe if we look around. I don't remember if we have to... We can't hack this. This I always forget the details of. Let's look around a bit. I'll check the computers. I don't think I can... Damn it. I'm going to stake myself on that thing. If you're if you're reading this, you're not dead. Very good. Probably not this. Did I already break into this? Cowbell. Yeah, I did. Uh, nope, that's not useful. We might, it might be a new... I think there's a new email with the code. We just have to figure out where it is. There's the morgue. Let's go back to the other side. We might have to go up to maybe Malcolm's computer? No. Damn it. Damn physics. Because something has to lead us that way. I don't think our quest updated either. Did it? you what are you doing back here uh, i want the pass uh i want the pass go to the freezer oh boy uh i can't give that out you're gonna have to leave uh you're getting sleepy i, f I feel asleep <laughs> i feel asleep i feel like that's a reference to something can i talk to him again? 1969 that's all i know Oh, okay. Guess you can just get it from him. Thanks. Yeah. Prick. Yeah, I think there is an email that has it, though, too. Uh, yes, wise a freak. Your chat is, in fact, working. He said 1969, right? Kitty, this is a bad time. As always. Here we go. Wait, ahem, excuse me, boxes. Cat, no. Cat, she's sitting on the controls. I know you want to just wander around, sweet kitty. Let's close that. Let's see what we got going on here. Well, well, well. Of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat, the hot flash in my brain lighting up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. What happened to you? Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. 
never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. Hold still. I'll let you go. You're not letting me go. You're just staring at me. Well at all. Oh, sweet mother of God. I love how she bounces off the wall first. This bitch is bouncing off the walls. <laughs> Awkward. Hi. The heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop, and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've... I've killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? That's what she said. Uh, calm down. Tell me who you are. What just happened? It's not who I am. I've never done anything like that before. I'm not a monster. Uh, sh calm down. It's all right. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped. Trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Who are you? My name is Lily. Uh, Lily, you're the one E told me about. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? He asked me if I knew anything about Thin Bloods, which is why is how I found you. Oh, I'll ask her about him. I said I'd help him. What do you know about Thin Bloods? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A Thin Blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Go on. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider Thin Bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a Thin Blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. You should go see E. He said he forgives you. He wants to see you. E doesn't hate me anymore? No, quite the opposite. You should talk to him. I'll go see him. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Goodbye. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. Except you just killed, so technically you are a killer. I promise, Lily, it's not your fault. You couldn't help it. Goodbye. Uh, Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more. Um. I'll see, what can I do to set this straight? Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find someone else to fill the chair. But it's kind of chilly out, and now that my co-pilot's been devoured, I'm flying solo. I need a new body. Find another donor and I'll whip up a fresh batch. Um... I'll say, sell me blood. Right. A transaction. Green for red. Interested? Yeah, I like to make a withdrawal. <laughs> Too bad you can't make him give it to you for free. That's yeah, still not going to buy any, but... Oh, can I sell to him, though? Because I think I picked up some stuff. He want this diary? Sell it to you. He's like, not really. I could sell that crowbar and then go back to the car and get the crowbar, I think. I don't know what that steak is for. Nerd. Yeah, that's one of the few guys in the game you cannot uh, cannot kill. Uh, so is that finished with that quest now? 
Uh, you should go talk to E. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to him real quick just to wrap this up. If I can find the WASD. Uh, actually, while we're here, let's go upstairs. I think we can get some drugs upstairs for a uh, trip. I don't think it'll take too long either. Oh, hey, Scroff is following. Thank you for the follow, Scroff. Welcome. Yeah, I think this is like a a hostile area, so if he sees me, he'll attack. Which is not a big deal. Let's see what we got here. A box. Super useful. An open ventilation air vent. Come on. There's a camera. It'd be nice to turn that camera off. Hey, Scroff says, been loving your YouTube channel for a while. This is the first time I've caught you live, though. Well, welcome, Scroff. Yeah, I, um, this week I'm off of work. So I want to take the opportunity to get more, uh, more streaming in. Bonk. Uh, CS door. Also, if you can't make the hacking attempt, it just puts random lever letters in there, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, let's unlock that door and CS cabinets. Hack it. Money. Unlock that as well. Cabinet unlocked. Controlled substances camera enabled for your security. Ah. So I wonder... I wonder... Oh, I should be able to go turn the camera off. I don't know if that will bite us in the ass later. If we, like, uh, get caught. What is this room? Break room? Hell yeah. This area is for hospital staff only. Give me your keys and leave me alone. You can let yourself out. Thank you. That was nice of him. Hey, Jason, can you reset Malcolm's password? His He wants it to be Panacea. Panacea, is that right? Yeah, I'm. Uh, this year I'm probably going to start doing more, more streaming. Well, I'm almost certainly going to do more streaming. Uh, maintenance, that's where we went up and around. There's another one of those weird doors about to piss on the floor. That's nice. Damn. Oh, that's right. Dead he does not like. I'll, probably, I'll wait for him to just move. I thought the key would open it. If it was locked. But apparently not. Alright. But we want to get the camera off anyway. Security. This is where we want to go. Excuse me. Don't want you peeking in on us. Maintenance room key, which we don't even need. But, again, I like that those options are there. Optometry. Hey. Camera one. Camera controlled substance camera disabled. For security purposes, all other cameras have automatically been enabled. Okay, so we want to go to the controlled substance room now. So we can go get those drugs. Oh, yeah, next year. Look at that swagger. Fucking Barney Fife knows what's up. The camera is off. Door is locked. Safe is opened. And there's nothing in here. God damn it. Really? God damn it. I know he said the morphine had been moved. So I guess there is no drugs in here. Again, other than morphine. Or maybe that's what he wanted. Was the morphine. Fuck. Because I sold the morphine to him, though, ironically. Uh, oh, wait, maybe it's in prescriptions. So let's turn that one off. 
But that's the one that's locked, so I want to be careful with that. Hey, how you doing? Jesus. Yeah, his hips don't lie there. Dislocated. Don't, hey, don't worry about me crouching over here in the corner. What? You had your chance, bitch. Should have just stood there. Hey, stop right there. Oh, he actually keeps attacking. Okay. I don't know why he attacked. Because he didn't see me picking the lock, I don't think. We're going to wait till he actually goes away. Yeah, and, and for some reason, cops work differently than uh, like some of the other NPCs, as you saw. Like he wakes right back up. Well, I think actually, once enemies are in combat, yes, they you can't just drink from them and then they'll like be staggered. Go away, nerd. <laughs> that that walk is so awesome. In some ways, making things more realistic and professional does take away some of that charm. All right, let's do this quick. That's what she said. Wait. No, I don't. What? I don't really know. Ah, shit. We need blood buff. We can actually hotkey these spells. I'm going to do that in a little bit. Drug box. Viz. Viz. Vivitrizac. Take one before relations. Allow six to eight hours for swelling to subside. A uh, prescription bottle, orthotricycline. Failure to take is prescribed could result in 18 years of responsibility, which is unfortunate. Wow. Estrogen. Why is estrogen in the safe? I feel like that's not necessary. Is there like a really people out there trying to like a big dark market for estrogen? All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to save. Oh, it, is that a real drug? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not down with the drugs. Later. Later, Barney. I think I've seen every black and white episode of that show. Of uh, the Andy Griffith show. Estrogen could be expensive. Yeah, maybe. Oh, it's a brand. Yeah, brand of, I kind of assume. I thought it might have been a birth control given it said something like 18 years of responsibilities or regrets or whatever it was. All right, we're doing all right on blood. Um, oh, let's go talk to Trip since he's right here. I think this just makes it so you can buy drugs from him. And also, I think if I went back and talked to Mercurio, I think... He would give us an option to talk to this guy and uh, have him get sell us Thanks drugs. Coming back. What you need? What you need? I got you something from the clinic. Really? Well, let me see what you got. <laughs> Estrogen. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted, but you'll have a hard time with that. Now for my discount. Nice pants, dude. Uh... What? What are you talking about? Melee requirement four. Uh, I'm at three. Oh, stats increased. What? That's cool. I don't know what increased. Um, finance? Yeah, I think my yeah my finance went up. That's pretty cool. Oh, so instead of giving me a discount, it just increased my finance, which increases my haggle. That's pretty cool. Um. I think, yeah, we want to get, uh, sorry, get my chair straight. Yeah, I mean, I know it's the female version of testosterone, but I was just thinking, like, why is it in a safe? But, I mean, if it is expensive, I can see that. 
Uh, security. Yeah, let's get our lock picking up. Like I say, I want to get that up fairly quick. Uh, we got four points left. We need ten points for the next the uh, thaumaturgy thing. Intelligence. Ooh, if we get our intelligence up, it helps our intimidate and our research, which is nice. Mm. Let's go ahead and do that. We can read that book. We can read a book now. We done smart learn. Shit. It's dark in here. I can't see my keyboard. Where is that book at? Where'd my sound go? Uh, Peepin, a warrior's friend. Peepin's not just for lonely, perverted losers anymore. In fact, at least three psychologists, psychological, psychologists, psychologists, wow, say it's a healthy form of sexual expression. Every good voyeur needs to develop a sneaking game. Get used to crouching and evenly distributing the weight as you walk. Stick to shadows and walk behind cover. You'll be tapping titties in no time. This book raises your stealth skill. Wait, how? Oh, taping. I'm like, how's that going to help me tap, tap them? Uh, sweet. So our stealth increased, which is nice. Oh, we can sell him some of those other drugs, too. Thanks for coming back. What you, what need? you need? What's there to do it's around me. here? It's me. Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here anymore. I like to buy right, something. Here's what we got today. We definitely want to start saving up money for armor. We'll get new uh, possible armor in the next stage. So pill bottle. Again, I don't think... Any of this stuff has any other use. And if so, we can just come back and buy it back from him. Uh, what is our melee? Melee is one. Yeah. I'm not too worried about that. We will want to get our perception up, though, to help our gun skills before we start getting into boss fights. Yeah, estrogen, you can get it between $15 and $40. Yeah, not worth putting in a safe. Though we could possibly be thinking a little bit too hard about that. All right, let's go talk to E and wrap that quest up as well. Actually, no, let's do this. Um, the Bail Bonds guy wanted us to check on his uh, Carlton or Carl or whatever his name, his buddy's name is. And he's in the same hotel as we are. Or apartment. This apartment, right? $16 for birth control pills? That would be nice. Uh, more Keegan? Oh, wait. Is this not it? Hold on. Oop. Damn you not being able to see in the dark like actual vampires. Uh, Santa Monica Suites. Okay, this is not it. This is not it. So yeah, we'll go talk to E and finish that quest. I like getting, uh, I don't like having a quest log full of quests. I like to minimize them a little bit. I think you can keep coming back to that guy and, and convincing him to go in the back alley and draining him. Not 100% sure on that. Yeah, E is weird looking. It is funny how she... Oh, I was going to say she talks about how handsome he was, but that was the other dude. The guy who was uh, a vampire out on bail. A vampire whose visa has expired. First world vampire problems. It's like, do the tubes and ablation at the same time? Women's stuff. Wait, did you have your shirt on before? I brought my lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped this, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. Um, I had no one deserved to be left in that place. I did what was right. I'm gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will.
Uh, Jack comes out of the box. I don't like the sound of that. Goodbye, E. That's that's my that's gonna be my club pickup line. Hey, lady, you want to uh, twist the stick and watch Jack come out of the box? All right, that's that's probably gonna content ID my ass. Damn it, I can't turn it off. Hi. Uh, how'd it go with E? This life's been hard on him, both of us, but he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there as long as we're together. <laughs> Oregon? Oh, uh, they might be worse. Um, no, just kidding. Nothing's worse than Los Angeles. Uh, oh, you probably want your stuff back then. Here, take it. Thank you. Keep your love alive. Goodbye. All right, I didn't want to say that. Run and never look back. Uh, he's over there. Ma'am, your relationship's not going to last long if you keep trying to run off with everybody while you call them e. I don't know what I'm saying. How much money do I have? Say. Actually, before I give her... Before I give her the money, how much money do I have? 285. Uh, sure. I want to see what she says. I don't think it's really that useful, but... I don't know but... what I'm saying. All right, all right. Do you know anything about the murder on the pier? Murder. Yes. The killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis, to the home of the stars, and then returns fulfilled and empty once again. Uh, I like it. That explains so much. Do you write forms for the IRS? Uh, I'm going to say, can you be more specific? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I said. Uh, wait, now his, I have the option for 20 bucks. Here's 20 bucks. I have a few questions about my future. Then ask again. What's going to happen to me in the next few nights? The crimson ship. He's not who he says she is and is going to burn. Dinosaurs. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Uh, again, yeah, even though everything she seems like saying is random, it actually is pretty relevant. Even though I don't quite know what the dinosaurs is a reference to. Not yet. If you do know, don't spoil it. Um, who can I trust? Mm, the man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. I know who the lone wolf is, but I'm not sure the man on the couch. Uh, who are my enemies? Men. Everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Uh, any advice at all? Something that's going to save my life. Don't open it. Don't open it. Hmm. I wonder if that's right. Probably not. I'm going to wipe that off. Ah, Mercurio, man on the couch. Ah, right, right, right. That makes sense. Uh, in the fifth grade, who stole my bike? I see the future, not the past. So who has a job I can do? Those with a lot to say usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. Makes sense. I have some more. I'll have some more questions later. Oh no! So am I going to win after all is said and done? Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. I totally did. Multiple times. Probably bought this game like twice. Evening. Maybe three times. Evening. Oi. Blimey. There's nothing I can do. I I'm damned. Damn right. Good luck. Boo. Uh, Man, I would evening. fuck with this guy all the time. You know anything about the murder on the pier? Answer me. Mur murder. No. No, I, I wasn't here when it happened. Th th thanks, Porky. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Best watch your ass, son. I, I want to know who stole the bike. Yeah, I know. Now we'll never know. That's that's the true uh, true the question of this game that was never answered. I heard the remake or the sequel they're going to finally make to this is going to be all about figuring out who stole your bike in fifth grade. This game's got some good music, by the way. 
So if you want to find a good soundtrack, it's not like your typical game music though. There's ambient noise and whatnot, but there's like, you know, actual bands and shit that did music. I mean, I don't know any of those bands, but I'm not hip and down with it like the kids. Um, so I think now would be a good time. A bounty for the hunter. Um, let's go to the asylum and talk to Therese. Therese don't like it. Dick, 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 dick. Sing it now. Back, rocking the cat spa. Rocking the cat spa. Therese don't like. What's. Oh God, such a downer. All right, let's go to the club. Now, this is going to get pretty loud. Also, there's a pretty good chance we might get hit with a content ID on this, which is going to be a real bummer if that's the case. You almost believe me about the sequel. That would be awesome. But this is another one of those songs that, like, 